Hello again viewers, we're at the bus station at Gibraltar basically, we're in La Lina, so just before border control, this is where you get the buses back up the coast in the Costa del Sol, I'm getting a bus tomorrow morning here, timetable's a bit confusing inside, let me show you, they've got a wee supermarket, you want to stock up for the journey here, a wee bottle of Australia or a can, 50 cents, not bad eh? I'll show you where it's located just in a minute, so you know exactly where it's located. Can you see the rock just through the trees? If you struggle to find it for any reason, you won't have to watch this video. Watch to the end, I'll show you exactly what it is. But if you struggle to find it, there's a wee information bit just before the border control. But just watch this video, I'll show you. Let's go inside and I'll show you. It's quite an old-fashioned um, bus station. If you're coming to Gibraltar for the day and you, 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 you quite fancy staying the night, but you can't afford the prices in Gibraltar because they're quite high. Then a, an option is staying here just before border control. You'll save a lot of money. So, here's the bus station. There seems to be no staff about. Now, up here they've got a timetable, but it's quite confusing. I'll show you in a minute. You, you, you'll see various places coming up. Estepona, which I just came from, that's another story. Um, there's one to Malaga saying it's 7.45 in the morning as well, just coming up. We've got a list of the destinations some of the buses do here, obviously. Benham Madonna, Torrelinos, which I've just been to, Fingerola, just been to as well. So, different lines. It goes to Seville here as well. I'm assuming these ticket offices at some point are manned. They're, they're open, but there's nobody here today. There's nobody here at all. Now, here where I show you, it's quite confusing. We've got this old timetable up here and the, the reason I mentioned Malaga because firstly I'm probably going there and secondly on the electronic timetable it says 7, I think it says 7.30 or 7.45 it's going to, 745, it's going to Malaga, up there you can see they've got 8.50, 10.30, 4.30 and 7 o'clock so who knows what time's right, now I can check on Google, maybe the timetable, but I've checked a few trains and buses already on Google and they've been in a, inaccurate, so I'll need to find the official website of the bus company and try and figure out how to sort it. I'm assuming that the bus to Malaga probably stops off at some of the other big places on the way, like Fingerola. You might be quicker getting off at Fingerola and jumping on the train, which is really quick. I'll need to check how long the bus is going to take. The buses that have been on here have been round the world. It's took a long time for, sh for just short journeys. So the train is a lot better. If you can get the train, it's a lot better, but there's no train, obviously, it runs up to Malaga from here. So, obviously, the bus is going to come from somewhere around about here. Let me just show you exactly where it's located. We'll go outside. I think there are some timetables over there that I'll need to check. I definitely need to check the timetables. It's quite confusing. Um, but don't worry, if you come to Gibraltar for the day, there's a few hotels round about here for under £30. I'm actually staying with a local resident for £22. Basically just booked to be a wee room with them. And they've sent me a video on, on how to find the apartment. The apartment literally is one of these ones, just at the back there. Um, and it's across from border control. So they sent me a wee YouTube video. They showed me how to find it. The check-in's three o'clock and it's only one o'clock. So I've got a wee bit of time to kill. I could go through into Gibraltar and come back, but I've got quite a big rucksack with me. As you can see, oh, it's heavy. And I can't be bothered going all the way back. Once I'm in there, once I'm in Gibraltar, that's me in until I come out tonight. It's quite impressive when you first come in. Um, either on a bus or a taxi or driving uh, The Rock is quite impressive and when I was coming in there was a plane taking off so it's quite an interesting place I've not even been in it yet I'll just show you at the end of the road here what we've got, okay? Your local bar so it's got an old Spanish feel to it round about here um, there's a sports bar on the corner called Easy Win. It's very, very windy. That's one thing I've noticed. I'm hoping 
that when a Gwintage Gibraltar is not going to be as windy because otherwise I'm going to have some issues um, doing some videos. Now as you know viewers, builders always follow me about building work there. <laughs> At the time of filming this, you'll need a mask to go on any public transport. Um, buses and trains. I've seen people thrown off the trains for not having a mask. Everybody here wears a mask at the time of filming. This will probably change obviously at one point. Um, the buses, effectively I don't think they're strict. You need a mask to go on the bus. And then I don't know, I don't know if, I don't think the driver's really bothered when you're actually on the bus, but every day basically wears a mask. It's about 30 degrees, it's very windy, but there's the sports bar I was talking about. Basically, the bus station is just down there. There is Gibraltar. There's a McDonald's and a Burger King to the left, and there's a wee line of restaurants as well, a couple of wee shops. You can book cable cars, trips, and other trips um, round here as well. There's a wee beach just further down a wee bit. Change money here as well. We've got an ATM, but don't don't use that one. Avoid it. Shocking rates. I don't know what the exchange rate is in here. I don't know if it's good or not. It's one thirteen. Most places I've seen, yeah, it's one thirteen in there as well. But remember, when you go into Gibraltar, I'm assuming you can pay in Stirling. Very expensive property in Gibraltar and the accommodation. Obviously, it's a it's a premium space. Is at a premium there? Uh, basically, there's border control there. There's the information desk just across there. That you can see, and there is border control straight ahead. So I'm just going to basically walk right through there, hopefully with no issues. Head into Gibraltar, and then in the morning, I'm going to stay in my wee apartment just around the corner here. Hopefully, everything goes to plan. Um, McDonald's Burger King, just there's Burger King, McDonald's is around the corner. Uh, if everything goes to plan, then save quite a bit of money staying here. Anyway, I uh, hope you found the video useful, that's the bus station. So if you're here for the day, and you're heading back in the bus somewhere else up the Costa del Sol, you're just going to head out here and get around the corner. Thanks for watching, if you're new to the channel, do me a wee favour. Um, there's a button there that says subscribe, call it the magic button. It does not cost anything. You should change the name of it, like follow or join or something like that, I don't know. It doesn't cost a penny. Um, it's absolutely free. If you want to join the wee community on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it. I've got videos from all over Spain and some other places. Portugal as well. I'm going to other places soon, hopefully. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm just about to head in to Gibraltar. Look out for the videos from there soon. See you in the next one.